Eric Andre, we're talking about double crosses now, and this is behind the scenes. You would basically taser him on the set, and he threatened to walk, and he actually did a couple of times. And then my cousin Jimmy, who's an EP on the show, had to get involved, and you basically took it as a reprimand from a substitute teacher who you'd never see again because the hazing continued, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't. I, I. It's just not stopping is not what I do, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> but after the third time, like. Eric was done, 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 and his feelings were hurt, and and it's like, we just started the show. We have to complete the show. So I'm like, I'd never call the truce with anyone, and I never will again, but we had to get through the season, so I had to call a truce. Do you remember your first prank you experienced either for or against you growing up? God, my father was constantly pranking people growing up. I mean, he would make x lax milkshakes for his co-workers. He would stage gunfights at Christmas parties. He would send them letters from the BD clinic saying they have to list their last 10 partners. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, sign Dr. Harlan C. Titmore. He would send fake <laughs> audits to his friends. Uh, oh, so you never had a chance. This was this is what you were going to do, right? I, I was always trying to emulate my father, you know? He, like he was it. never in show business, but I felt like he should have been. You know, he had the personality, but he was from Knoxville. He didn't, in the 50s, he didn't know, you know? He would have been great on prank panel. Chasing Eric Andre's father around with a <laughs> stun gun. That would have been the way to do it.